Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, check this out. I have the SU-57 and the SU-35. I'm gonna fly both of these RC planes today. Now, the difference between the two are, this one is more for your family if you bought something for your child and you're going out flying with this one and you wanted your child to have a plane. So this one is all foam. It's all like you can't damage your head or body parts or anything. It doesn't have any elevators on it. It's got two brushed motors in the rear that push. And when you wanna go right, one motor works and when you want to go left the other motor works so when you want to go straight both motors work and there's no elevators to get you going up and down however you can bend the foam in any way you want it does come with two batteries comes with a remote and i think the flight time is about two, 10 minutes and the range with the remote is about 300 meters and finally it has led lights all along the bottom because i think they want you to fly this in the evening with your kids you can fly it if you don't have any kids get it for yourself and fly it because uh, i'm gonna find out if it's any good here it's a little bit breezy but we'll find out so the other one i have is the su35 now this one here looks pretty cool it does have elevators in the back and ailerons and you can control them and it's got lights in the rear that can change color based on you know what you want it to look like you know like exhaust coming out like fire like afterburners whatever and you can get a version with led lights all along the bottom this one comes with two batteries and a remote and it does fly for 15 minutes and it does have a super long range so you can fly them around so i'm going to take both of these out in this video so i'm doing a review on both at exactly the same time and we'll see how it goes could be totally hilarious could be a total disaster because there is some wind but uh, we'll try it out so let's start with the little baby one first so this would be the remote you see it has has two joysticks on it one goes left and right and the other is to give you throttle forward and back and this would be the little battery that goes inside you get two of them I believe I received two with mine so there's our battery and it just goes right in top and I'm gonna put it in right now we're gonna get going I doubt if you could see the lights LED lights on out here when this is connected but uh, oh there we are you can see any LED lights happening here I'm gonna hold it this way so maybe you can see it a little bit better this is in the daylight yeah I could see something in the image there that's pretty cool so let's power on the remote push the button in and move the joystick up and down whoa okay so <laughs> now you know it works there we go see it flies right up all right we have a plane down here now for some reason i took the cover off to put the battery in and uh, i stuck it down on my jeep and uh, i don't know where it is <laughs> i am senile in the morning when i don't have my coffee i'll find it soon but anyways we'll fly without it doesn't really need it all right, here we go there she goes look at that she's up <laughs> okay, that does not fly as well as I was hoping. I'm gonna have to throw it. Try hand toss. Well, it's up there. And I'm bringing it back, I'm bringing it back. Do you see it going? Now there is a wind out here and it's blowing this way, so it just takes this. So I'm gonna shoot it into the wind this way. We'll try that, here we go. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere into the wind, but it's probably gonna get blown back in my head. Here we go. Oh, that's sideways, upside down. Hey, you can do little tricks. Okay, the objective is to get this in the air and stay in the air and quit crashing. Try it one more time. Here we go. This is the last flight. So she's up. I got to go all the way up. I can control it, steer it. Bring it back to me. I got it coming around. There we go. So the instructions say, if it doesn't stay in the air very long, you have to bend the elevators up. They're very, very thin, so I'm bending them upwards. Okay, I'll show you. You can bend them here like this, bend them right up. So you got to get them both at about the same angle or else it's going to turn to one direction to the other. So maybe when it was in packaging, these got flattened. I don't know. Let me just keep bending them up a little bit. Here we go. Elevators have been bent. <laughs> Any difference? Well, <Whoa>. yikes. <laughs> they almost hit me in the head. So apparently this plane is out to kill me. Therefore, I'm going to stop flying it and go fly the SU-35. The SU-35 comes with a much nicer controller. It does have 6G and 3D. So in other words, you can do tricks on the plane by pressing the buttons. I don't know what they all do, but I'm going to find out here. It does have stability mode. So that helps out in the wind, which is going to be pretty good. Should stay in the air for a long time. Comes with a much larger battery. So uh, let's go fly it. Little compartment in the base to put the battery in. I'll just slide it in there. And what I like about the SU-35, there's actually an on and off switch here. So it's on there we go i could control everything very nice so yeah should work well let's go try it right here you can hand toss that one as well but i'll try it on the ground see how she goes props on the back stability mode is on as far as i can tell let's take it up okay so it doesn't like the gravel on the ground the wheels are getting caught in it so i'm just going to toss it here we go there we go and i'll bring it back oh don't want to go up don't want to go up ah. all right a bit of a wind let's hand toss it here we go. 
Going into the wind, I have full throttle on. She's going pretty far. And the prop fell off. Oh, I feel some wind. Let's see how she goes. In the wind. Whoa, that goes up. <laughs> can you see the lights in the back? I think I can change them here. Let's see. Oh, did I change them? And uh, I think you can turn them off too. I'm not sure. There we go. Now I've been trying to fly this in stability mode and I think it's overcompensating. So I'm going to turn it off. All right, here we go. Oh, that looks so cool with the motors in the back. All right, I'm having no luck out here flying these. There is wind. I think they're designed to fly in no wind because the wind just seems to take them in all sorts of directions. So I can't keep them in the air very long. I'm having no luck. So with all my failures, I handed the plane over to Joe who's wearing the blue t-shirt and what he's doing right here is strapping a five cent coin to the nose because he believes it's too tail heavy. All right, here goes Joe hand tossing. Wheels are off. We got a nickel attached to the nose. And there we go, he's got it! There we go! Right on. Well, that was a success. So what I'm gonna show you next is the unboxing, then come back to me and I'll give you my final thoughts. This is your SU-57 and it comes pretty much ready to go out of the box. However, if you want tail fins, you will have to install them yourself. If you want landing gear, you will have to install that yourself. If you want the blinky lights, they supply everything, you have to install that as well. The included remote takes three AA batteries, not included. You have to supply those. The battery included with the plane does come with a USB charger and for spare parts you get spare props, an extra battery and instruction manual. Now switching over to the SU-35, this is the box it comes in, it's almost fully assembled when you receive it, you will have to install the tail fins as well as the landing gear. The Includer remote takes four AA batteries which are not included, you have to provide those. You will notice a lot of buttons on this remote because it does do a lot of cool things with the plane. The plane has stability as well as full control of the elevators and ailerons. Additional items may include extra batteries, you do get the USB charger to charge up the batteries and of course you get a spare prop. Okay, you're back to me, my final thoughts. My final thoughts are the following. These are planes, RC planes, that are designed to be fun planes. I think they're designed to smash, crash, or whatever, because they don't break. I have to put the links below, just in case you want to go check out the price and see how much they are, and see if there's a sale on, or a discount code, or anything like that. See, the wind's coming up. I, they just don't like the wind. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It uh, was not a total waste of time for me, but I got out to try these out. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in future reviews with many more RC planes. The kind that fly in the air for a long, long, long time and never hit the ground. All right, till then, bye.